Hi, my channel name is Second Era of Moles, and if you have clicked on this video accidentally, 90 seconds is all I ever ask. This is High Profit. It's a game where you buy and sell chairs. Which sounds just thrilling. Okay. So, colours? Colours of what? Colours of day. Ooh. I can change the colour of my shirt. Go for orange. And that's my hair. Go for pink. Because I know those two clash. And the other one is what? My trousers? No, my chair. Okay. Let's go for... Um, hmm. Violet, I think. Yeah. Oh, that hurts to look at, doesn't it? Okay. Each chair currently sells for $47. I can't sell any chairs because I have zero chairs. So buy. If I sell it, I make one dollar in profit. Sell, yes. So buy. I don't want to buy another one because that's not a very good price. Buy. Oh god. Uh, price, please go up. Yeah, crap. So it's about knowing when to buy and when to sell. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm making money now. Okay. I did have a quick sort of play of it and I think it's around the 30 mark is the line between buying and selling I don't know so sell because that's over 40 oh that's a very high price 46 7 but now it's down to 17 so we want to buy we want to make the monies uh, and see I've still got two chairs in reserve but I've already made over a hundred dollars in profit I am a businessman you see I do business. Do I want to buy? We'll buy. There's 30. Buy for 17. Buy for 8. Buy for 20. Just keep buying until it hits like. No, not 3. Oh god. 18. Buy. Oh god, that's. This is crap. The market is crashing. Why are you doing this for me? Okay, now 42. Now we can start selling. So, it's reasonably simple. It's just clicking about. Buy a chair for one dollar. I will buy that chair for one dollar. Yeah. And it's all about making money and doing business and being productive and being part of the economy, which uh, I am not. Sell, because it's over 30 for buy, because it's four. Buy and buy and buy. Buy. Buy it all. Buy it all. Just gotta watch out for like market crashes and all of those terms that economists know. I am always suspicious of economists because they're one of those professions, a bit like weather people, and I, I know the two are completely separate, but it's like they get things wrong a lot, and there's like not really much accountability when things do go wrong. It's just like, yeah, we were wrong. It's like economic forecast is this. It's like, oh, but then things didn't turn out like that. It's like, mm, well, you know, we gave our best thingy at the time. Who can tell the future? That sort of thing. That's just me, though. That's just my take on it. Those are some cheap chairs. Probably imported. You don't want to be going for the cheap chairs. They'll collapse on you. So, assuming all chairs are created equally, which we know they are not, I wonder what the best chair is. That doesn't make any sense if I've just said they're all equal. Which one is the best? They're all equal, dipshit. I think I've got a good strategy, though, because I'm making lots of money. I don't think you can, like, lose money in this game. Or maybe you can. That'd be interesting. Maybe I should start buying high and selling low and see if I can make myself bankrupt. That would be hilarious. No one would intentionally do that to themselves, would they? I don't know. We'll see how much profit we can make. Then we'll maybe get on to bankrupting ourselves. Sell. Buy. No, I didn't want to sell for five. Oh, that was... I would be so fired if I was a trader for doing that. Buy. Sell. Bye. I'm playing the stop, stock market. This is even better than infinite spreadsheets. If you haven't seen my play 
playing of infinite spreadsheets. That is from a long time ago. That was from my birthday time last year, which is almost a year ago. Oh god. I have a birthday coming up. It means I'm another year older. I don't really... I don't know. Age has never really bothered me that much. There are some people who are like, oh my god, I'm now 25 and I... I don't know, I've not really done anything with my life. What do I do? What do I do? Whereas I'm just like, eh. You know, you're going to get older no matter what you're doing. If, if age bothers you that much, then I don't really know what to say. And I know there are, like, genuine concerns around that. And I do have the occasional uh, crisis of confidence where it's like, oh my god, I'm 26 years old. I'm still in the same place I was when I was 23 and it's like from that point of view it's like I'm not seeing any progression for myself and it's like man I don't know I don't know what to do with myself and you get those panicky moments but I think that's just like living life and everyone has things that they will panic about and things that like freak them out but it's uh it's how you deal with them me I just sort of ride it out until it goes away and then I'm like ah, I feel better now that's just me though, I'm not saying that's going to work for everyone, because there is no one thing that works for everyone. Unless there is, I can't think of anything that would like universally work. Oh, that was 50. Bye. Yeah, sell. Bye. 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 Didn't want to be enough. That I had enough. It might sound crazy, but it ain't no lie, baby. Bye, 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 bye. Don't know what I do for you. I'm just another player in this game for two. Is that Backstreet Boys, or is it someone else? Because those sort of late '90s or mid to late '90s era boy bands, they all kind of jumble in my mind. Cause you had the likes of Boys Zone, Backstreet Boys, Westlife. NSYNC and you know when when they've now been gone for like 50 years at least some of them even longer East 17 baby you forgot to go away don't think I can take the pain won't you stay now I don't understand why that's a Christmas song I mean, I know in the video they're all, it's all like snow and they're all wearing those coats and they spin around in, in a circle, but the actual song itself has nothing to do with Christmas. It's like that Power of Love song. That's got nothing to do with Christmas. In fact, it's rather depressing. I'm kind of just playing this on automatic. It's like 30 and that's the line between the two. Buy, buy, sell, sell, buy, sell, buy, 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 sell, sell, buy, buy, sell, buy, buy, sell. I have 86 chairs. I have 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife. What do you need the spoon for, Alanis? It is to stab the bastard who keeps buying all these spoons. I like that. If you've not seen it already, look up Ed Burns' take on Alanis Morissette and Ironic. It's like a deconstruction of the song Ironic. But isn't it ironic? Don't you think? And he has an Irish accent, so that makes it twice as funny. Oh, man. I think Irish is one of the best accents. Wait, what am I doing? Sorry, I, I kind of got lost in talking. I think... If I could have any accent, my first choice would be like a Caribbean, like a West Indian. Could you imagine me, man, sitting back here with a badass Caribbean accent? That would be fun. But the other one would be Irish, I think. Just because, I don't know, I just think it's cool. I mean, I don't have any problems with my own access, accent. <laughs> uh, um... But, you know, if you were choosing one, I'd go, I'd go for Caribbean. Definitely. 
Okay, I'm, I'm getting a bit bored of this now. So and we're just gonna we're gonna change it to buying high and selling low. So sell, buy, buy, sell. Try and like bankrupt ourselves. Yes, yes. Sell chairs for six dollars. <laughs> This could take a while. Okay, I'm now down to zero chairs, and the price is below what I would usually sell at. So I made one whole dollar from this venture. It's a pretty good game. It is only a very early access game. I think it's only in its like first iteration so you know there's there's like potential there I think in the whole buying and selling and sell 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 and buy and that sort of play in the stock market type of thing and it but it needs to be fleshed out a bit more the whole clicking it gets a bit sort of tedious after after a while as you know anything does but I thought I thought it was all right and I think is once you find out that sweet spot it's quite easy to just keep making money and it becomes like self-sustaining but it is on game jolt so if you want to go and try it out for yourself then you definitely definitely can and if you made it past the 90 second mark thank you very much and congratulations if you've made it this far maybe you're willing to go a bit further you can follow me on twitter i'm at rainmaker no 12 or you can subscribe to the channel for notifications of future videos thank you very much for watching this one and goodbye <laughs>